Uh, as I uh, shift my awareness to feel the other world, I do feel uh, a gentleman that stands uh, um, just here to my left hand side. I know this man is older when he passes to the spirit world and he makes me feel there that as he passes over he leaves his wife alive at the time that he passes. I feel um, strongly with this man that he would have been incapacitated for some time before he passed and it makes me feel the last um, 14 months of his life there that I feel incredibly slow, that I find things far more difficult and I know that I have other things to be done for me um, by, my, by my closest um, family. And I get the feeling here that his work had, had connected to um, vehicles, um, tyres. I would ask you to think of whether this man would have been around 76 years of age uh, when he goes into the other world too. Um, I'm conscious just before I ask you who might understand this, that um, Bill is a popular name, but I know that Bill would be remembered by him or Bill would be a name that he would easily associate with. I can breathe now, good. Um, would anybody here understand uh, that description to begin with? Ladies just there, thank you very much. We're going to give you a microphone. And anybody else, don't allow your nerves to kind of put you off receiving contact. So if everyone's happy, um, then we just have our two lovelies here. So would you understand the same information? Yeah, it's quite accurate. And um, well, I hope so. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, and would you answer he's in his mid seventies when Definitely. he passes? Yeah. And the Bill name? Bill would be my granddad. And would you understand the same gentleman um, having tyres or vehicles in his work life? Do you see that? He was me? a driver. A driver. Yeah, okay. A truck driver. A truck driver is, is okay. I can work with truck driving. That's wonderful. Um, do you remember there, if you also had very blue eyes in the lifetime, this man? Yes. Because the man that looks at me, he has very blue eyes as he places his face there um, against me. This same gentleman, as he, as he links with me again here, has a huge capacity to love. And I know that he adored his children. He adores his grandchildren. I know that I live for my kids, effectively. Mm -hmm. I'm also conscious there... Um, that this same gentleman would have had uh, um, more to do with your upbringing than most other grandfathers, if you like. So I feel that either he lived very near to you or paid extra interest in you as you grow up. Do you see that? For we're me? his only grandchildren and we were all close, yeah. Okay. Because it feels not just as a grandfather, but also more like a dad slash grandfather almost. So I feel he's exceptionally close to you. Yeah. I know as he brings that thought to my um, to my mind, um, do you remember um, him having like what could be a very large garden shed or uh, um, a wooden building or something like this in in his in his home, right outside of his home? Um, they had like an outhouse and yeah. He would okay. I just know there's a space that's not his home, that's outside of his home, that feels like I'm always in it. Mm -hmm. And I know lots of your memories connected with this same gentleman about being outdoors there or be out being in that space. I, 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 I wanted to talk to you here about him being a gardener, but he corrected me then. So I feel that as though he takes me into his garden, mm -hmm. I want to potter in that space. Oh, Rather than create, I feel I want to potter and always be outdoors, you see. Yeah. I know that to grow ra no, it's not raspberries at all, to grow strawberries are yeah. important, you see that? Mm. And I feel his strawberries, he grew in his garden, tasted the best. Now, if I'm to remain with you girls a bit longer, then you would understand your mother to be in the spirit world. We Do you would. see that for me? Definitely. Because um, I know um, as he moves to one side here, they shout out, say, mum. And I, as I feel then um, um, him move to one side, I get the sense here of mother that joins me there from the spirit world. And with the greatest respect, I know she loves to natter, that lady, yep. and loves to talk. And I feel like I want to hold court almost. You see that? Oh, so people come to me... And, and, and I'll do the chatting and I'll do the organising, you see that. And um, do you know, I feel that um, although her life comes um, to rather an abrupt end at the, at the end, mm -hmm. that I feel that my mobility is a little bit wobbly before I passed over. Hello. We, hello. We was out one day and she did just completely lose her balance and went all wobbly and we had a good laugh about it. Oh, well, really, you've got, you got to <laughs> laugh, haven't you? But bear with me, darling. I know that she gives me a feeling here of struggling to stand unaided and making me feel just with my mobility that things are not well. Um, I feel that you were with her as she passes to the spirit world. Yes. Do you see that? 
And um, I know she registers this idea of you're with me as I pass. And when she passes over, darling, would you remember being on, on her right-hand side I when was. she passes? You I see was. That? And, and I know that as you're there at her right-hand side, that um, um, you gave her permission to pass. This is important. You see Definitely. that? Definitely. Um, there's a, a thought here that runs through my mind where yellow roses have been given to her with great significance. You see this? Okay. Do you see that between the two of you? You understand that? And I know as she comes back to us today that between you, she hands you like a huge bouquet of yellow roses. As they were given to her, she replaces them with new ones for the both of you. You see that? Now, um, even though there's two of you here, I can't help but feel that one of you's missing or one of you's not here. Do you see yes. that? Yes. Because her love should go to the three of you. Thank you see you. that? So if I was only to say that she comes to the two of you, I'd get on her nerves, effectively, you see, because she'd feel I've missed one of you out. So whoever was unable to attend or could not attend... Wanted, um, to, wanted to attend. That's fine. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just that, so you make sure that the three of you know in equal measure that I'm here, that I'm with you, that I love you, and um, that I'll always be there for you uh, as and when you need me. I, she... I am going on a bit longer than normal, but I, sh I can't keep away from her. She Good, won't thank go. You. Um, so bear with me a bit longer. Because I know it's a thought that comes from the spirit world, then your father has to be in the spirit world too. Yes. Do you see that for me? And um, as I'm um, able to tell that um, to you, then it would allow me then to, to bring the sense of your father um, close with me there um, today. And as I do that, the very first thing I want to do there is laugh. So I feel he was <laughs> as daft as a brush then, your dad, and very funny. Do you see that? Yes. Very funny. And I know that he had a joke for every occasion. Yes. And, and I, I don't have a dirty sense of humour with him, but a silly sense of humour. Yeah. You know? Anything that makes a noise or just a bit toilet-fied, then I think he would find that very, very yes. amusing. Um, I know uh, um, that before he passes that you'd talk together about trying to um, trim and um, cut his um, eyebrows before he passes. Do you see yes. that for me? And um, I know he didn't want his eyebrows cut, so leave him alone. And I feel they were his and they were a work of art. You see that on his little face. And, and I know as he, as he brings that thought to me... Um, how do I say that to you? He was relieved to pass to the spirit world, is what I know. Yes. I was glad to go. Yes. And um, as your father comes to me, I know it was something that he had said time and time again, I can't wait, you know. I, I've, I've had enough now. I, I want to yes. go. And, and it's almost like he willed himself there to the other world. And um, as he allows me to feel that, um, he had had um, a lot of problems with his stomach or his bowel before he'd passed over. Do you yes. see that for me? And it might well be a cancer in that area, but I know whatever it is, it's blockage, it's um, a mark. It was something that, that makes me feel that I suffer so much with that area of my body, but you should remember that. Yeah. Do you see that for me, girls? Yes. And um, you, when he walks with me, either he had a foot that slightly turned inward, um, which feels more like his left foot, foot as he stands with me. Do you see that to be correct? Yes. Is it like it slightly, it slightly moves inward? That's all I can tell you. Do you understand that to yeah, be correct? Yeah, I do understand it. So I'm making a big fully. meal of it, but it's quite easy. And yeah. I've got a foot that turns inwards. And, and I just know that I'd had that for a while, you see yes. that. And um, it's something I just got on with. You didn't bother me. And that's yes. it. And um, I'm conscious that as he walks in the lifetime, that he would often walk with a problem with his left hip or his left leg there, you see this, yes. that also created a slight limp, that as you knew, you never would have taken a notice of about it, you see, yeah. but I know as I watch him walk, I'm aware of that slight limp to his left side, yes. and that makes sense. Something is 83 in my mind, you don't get it. That was a previous door number. Of his door number? <laughs> Significant door number, yeah. 83. Bear with me then. Because he keeps shouting, say 83, like I'm, gonna, I'm meant to know it. Um, so uh, I should really. Um, but he's saying, say 83. Well, you have my lovely people. I know that we're Thank here. Thank you. I know that we love you. And also, God bless you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.
before we got to the theatre on the morning, in the run up to it, I've been willing these people to come through. They are the three people that I desperately wanted to hear from to know that they were okay. The Bill name? Bill would be my granddad. And I know that he adored his children, he adored his grandchildren. I know that I live for my kids, effectively. Granddad was a really lovely man. He was loved by everyone that came into contact with him. He was a very special person, very, very dear in my heart. Miss him such a lot. Um, he was quite a character. Yeah, definitely. Um, he was known. He, he was known by everybody <laughs> for one reason or another. <laughs> Um, do you remember um, him having like what could be a very large garden shed? I just know there's a space that's not his home, that's outside of his home, that feels like I'm always in it. He did have a lovely garden. Nan couldn't get him in half the time because he was out there most of the time when he could. As I feel then um, um, him move to one side, I get the sense here of mother that joins me there from the spirit world. And with the greatest respect, I know she loves to natter, that lady, yep. and loves to talk. She was a very family orientated person. She had a lot of sisters and they would like to get together and um, chat. And she would always stop and talk to people in the street. Mum was only 62 when she passed away and lung cancer was um, what got her. Yeah. And when she passes over, darling, would you remember being on, on her right-hand side I when was. she passes? You I see was. that? Yeah. I think that was very significant because my dad was literally sitting to her right side. Donna was sitting to her left side and I was sort of further along the bed, a bit further away. I probably had a bit of a hang-up of, you know, did she know I was there? So that was definitely... Um, a real bonus to think, you know, she definitely knew I was. There's uh, a thought here that runs through my mind where yellow roses have been given to her with great significance, you see this. When I go to the crematorium, if I can get yellow roses, then I'll take yellow roses. At the moment, it's yellow daffodils or any yellow flowers. Which she'd be just as pleased with. Yeah, oh yeah, she loved daffodils. but. Um, yeah, I, I just, I love yellow roses and I always try to get them. There's some over there at the moment, actually. I can't help but feel that one of you's missing or one of you's not here. Do you see that? Because her love should go to the three of you. You see that? My daughter wanted to come to the, um, to see Tony, but um, we thought perhaps they wouldn't allow it because she was only 15. Um, and so we didn't let her come, plus it was a school day and everything, but she dearly wanted to be here. Yeah, she would have loved to have come. Because I know it's a thought that comes from the spirit world, then your father has to be in the spirit world too. Yes. Do you see that for me? When Dad was ill, we watched a lot of telly and he'd actually seen Tony Stockwell on the telly. Um, and he became quite interested in the mediums. And whenever he used to be on, we used to sit there and watch it, and he always used to say, oh, I like that Tony Stockwell. The very first thing I want to do there is laugh. So I feel he was <laughs> as daft as a brush then, your dad, and very funny. Do you see that? Yes. Very funny. He had a really funny sense of humour as well. Um, got worse as he got older, <laughs> unfortunately. But um, no, he was, you know, he was lovely. He fought the world of his family, and you know, that came before anything. I know uh, um, that before he passes that you'd talk together about trying to um, trim and um, cut his um, eyebrows before he passes. Do you see yes. that for me? I used to cut his hair and um, he, he never lost his hair right up to the end. He still had a full head of hair covering his head but I used to have more of a job trying to trim his eyebrows because they used to grow in all directions. As, they get older, they seem to get wiry, and yeah, I used to have to the fun job of getting his eyebrows trimmed up a bit. How do I say that to you? He was relieved to pass to the spirit world, is what I know. Yes. I was glad to go. He had motor neuron disease, which was a dreadful illness to watch someone get sick from, and it's such a relief to know that he's okay where he is now. I know it was something that he had said time and time again, I can't wait, you know. Dad was a very strong person. My mum died six years before he passed away, um, but he found the strength to go on. He re they really were a solid couple, did everything together. Um, and there was a time when we thought perhaps he wouldn't be able to go on without her, but he really did find strength to do so. 
when he walks with me, either he had a foot that slightly turned inward, um, which feels more like his left foot as he stands with me. Do you see that to be correct? The way that the illness starts and progresses tends to start on one side and work up the body and down again. So the left foot was where the illness really yeah. started. It did start to turn in. Something is 83 in my mind. Number 83 is a house that mum and dad bought when they were first married. Um, so it was their first real home together. Um, my mum's mum passed away in that house. I was born in that house and my mum's sister then went on to buy it from them and she still lives in that house now. Well you have my lovely people and know that we're here and know that we love you and also God bless you, thank you very much indeed. I have felt very at ease since having the reading. Um, it's really given me so much peace of mind to know that they're all together.